Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Smith. Sometimes doctors recommend treatments or diagnostic tests that may be unnecessary or even harmful to patients. The videos you are about to see illustrate the best quality of care for patients with common conditions for which they seek treatment from their doctors. The videos will explain why certain treatments or tests are unnecessary or even harmful. Our hope is that you'll gain a better understanding of why your doctor may recommend a certain plan of care for these common conditions. In this way, you'll be able to partner with your doctor in obtaining the best care possible. Great, lungs sound nice and clear. Basically what you have is a viral upper respiratory infection and really can't treat anything but the symptoms. So keep doing what you've been doing. You know, take... I have the same symptoms as my wife and my kid and they received antibiotics. Will I get some? Well, no, I don't, I don't think they really are gonna be useful for you because antibiotics really only work against the bacterial infection and you just have a viral infection. Uh, so the antibiotics really won't, won't help at all. Now that explains why they didn't get better right away. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. Uh, whether we give them or not, the course is usually three or four or five days and then get better. And antibiotics have their own problems as well. If we use them now when they won't help, when we really want to use them, they may not work at all. And they you know, have their own side effects. You can get rashes and diarrhea and stomach pains and even sometimes very serious side effects from them as well. And again, they just won't work for you at this point. So just keep doing what you're doing. Take it easy. Rest. Uh, suck in some cough drops for, for the sore throat. Now, if things get worse, I mean, if you get shortness of breath or any chest pain, a high fever, then let me know and we'll reevaluate it at that time. Okay. Sound all right? That sounds great. Great. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, good. Well, everything seems to be pretty good. No, no serious signs of anything going on with your back other than the sprain that you have. So what I want you to do is keep, uh, keep doing what you've been doing, taking uh, the pain relievers uh, around the clock, avoid injuring your back again, you know, don't uh, bend over or lift anything heavy. Or, now, now, does it mean that I'm not gonna have an X-ray or an MRI? My brother injured his back in a similar manner and he got an X-ray. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I don't think we really need one at this point in time because usually the kind of injury you have will get better in the first uh, six weeks or so and um, really n nothing to be gained from, from doing the MRI. Okay, but my back really is hurting. Uh, that wouldn't really help or? No, it, it really wouldn't help at all. Um, the only reason we would get an MRI is if we were, uh, if you weren't doing well and we were contemplating doing surgery or something. No, I don't want surgery. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think you need surgery either. And, and that would really be the only reason we would, we would get the MRI at this point. So just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Take it easy, don't do things too stren strenuously, but, but try to exercise every day. Okay. Take those pain relievers around the clock and that will help the pain and the inflammation. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should gradually get better over the next, may take weeks, three or four weeks or so. Okay. Now, if things aren't getting better and six weeks go by or things get worse, you know, then definitely, you know, let me know and then we'll reevaluate whether we need to go ahead and get that x-ray. Okay. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay, well, everything seems to be really good here with Faith. She, she bumped her head, but I don't see anything very serious going on. So I think we can just go ahead and observe her and everything should be fine. Okay. Um, you don't think we should get any x-rays or anything like that? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, she fell yesterday. It was only from a couple of stairs. It wasn't really from a high, high place. She didn't lose any consciousness. She hasn't had a headache. She hasn't been vomiting. She looks great. So, no, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, I just always heard so many stories and I would really, really like for her to get some type of x-ray or something just to make sure. Sure, I can understand your concerns. 
but we are almost 100% sure. And x-rays themselves actually do carry some risk. Uh, it's a fair, fairly high dose of radiation, and, and that can even you know, increase the chances of brain tumors later oh, on. No, 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 we wouldn't want that. Okay. No. So why don't you just watch her? You know, if she develops any kind of a headache or, or worsening headache, uh, develops any vomiting, starts getting sleepy or spacey, well, then you contact me, and we'll go ahead, and we will get x-rays then. But right now, I think you're doing just great. All right, that's good. Super. Thanks.